What's up guys, Justin here with another poorly reviewed beer as we're continuing Sierra Nevada's Beer Camp Across America collaboration series. This is the fourth beer out of six, and this is Stout of the Union, Robust Stout. Uh, this is a collaboration with Bagby Beer Company, Beechwood Brewing, Port Brewing Company slash The Lost Abbey, Smog Brewing Company, and Societe Brewing Company. Uh, from the brewer's notes, this stout hails from the land of sun, sand, and surf, and proves that beach beer doesn't have to be light-colored and delicate. We shall get to that in a, in a bit. Stout of the Union is rich, roasty, and full of deep malt flavor, creating a union of like-minded brewers together through beer. Uh, checks in at 7.3% ABV and 64 IBU. All right, let's check out this beer. Certainly quite stout-like. Uh, nearly pitch black. I'm not really getting anything out of it as I hold it up to the light, so we'll go ahead and, and settle on pitch black. Uh, poured it a few moments ago. It was about a, a half a finger of head. It's dissipated quite quickly. It's only been maybe two, three minutes since I poured it. And it's down to, to a very, just a very thin ring around the outside of the glass and almost no, uh, no head whatsoever in the middle of the beer. Let's give it a taste. Hmm. Leads off with a, a good amount of sweetness and kind of ends initially with a whole, whole lot of roast and some roasty bitterness as well. Yeah, getting uh, getting sweet notes like uh, like caramel or toffee, dark kind of dark sugar notes or, or roast roasty sugar notes, burned sugar notes. Uh, that roasty bitterness is pretty prominent uh, throughout the throughout the drinking experience, actually. Um, as I'm getting used to the getting used to the sweetness a little bit, that. The, the bitter the roasty bitterness is is uh, much more prominent all the way throughout maybe a little bit of chocolate maybe a little bit of coffee but mostly burnt sugar notes and a ton of roast and a, a whole whole lot of bitterness again 64 IBU uh, the most of any of the the collaboration series so far 64 IBU is I guess you'd say moderately high. Let's get some uh, IPAs in the leg that are in that in that range, if not a little higher. But 64 is a pretty bitter, pretty high number for bitterness. Dare I say, almost too bitter. Um, it's it's kind of making it a little bit taxing to drink. If I have to be totally honest. Um, Perhaps it's just me, it might just not be my thing, but um, I would struggle to, I'll probably struggle through this one, and I, to be honest, I'll probably struggle through having uh, multiple of these at any given time. There's a lot of stops that are uh, a lot smoother, and we'll get to that in a second, but a lot smoother and far, far less bitter than, than what this is. Uh, it talks about wanting to be like a summer beer. I would say not at all, personally. Um, that, that bitterness is not something that's going to be refreshing on a hot day, on a day at the beach, like they suggest. This is not the, the kind of beer you're going to want. Um, or at least certainly this is not the beer you're going to want for this, for such, a, for such a situation. There might be other stouts, other porters, other dark beers that do fit that, that uh, description of a, a beach beer, summer beer, but... I can't think of any off the top of my head, and uh, this is certainly not one that I would suggest for such an occasion. And I would think that's really, um, again, it's called a robust stout. Let's see, stout of the Union robust stout. So I don't quite see where they're thinking it would be a, 
be a, a lighter summer beer. Robust out of just obviously implies something heavier than normal. So, uh, yeah. Fair execution, not really my thing. Too bitter for me. And, I mean, I would say fair execution as a stout. Not a great execution as a something for summer. And I don't quite know where they where they got that, but uh, they're definitely a miss in that department. Uh, you can go to pourthereviewedbeer.com and check out uh, reviews of nearly 250 beers, as well as beer news and more. PRB is also on Twitter and Facebook. You can find all those links in the description below. That'll do it for this edition of Poorly Reviewed Beer. See you next time.